Dubai, one of the richest places in the world, has come up with an ingenious way to regain land from the sea. Dubai's engineers have created three artificial islands, the Palm Jeremiah, Palm Jabal Ali, and the Palm Jera. These islands are stable enough to support a 12-story building. These islands were made using a new process. Instead of just dumping dirt into the sea to make the land, dredgers collect and then spray the sand to make the island. This new process gives the land more stability and makes it look more natural. If the water level rises to predict the 6 meters, which may happen by 2130, if the ice caps continue to melt in the speed they are now, areas such as Fort Lauderdale, Florida will be completely underwater. This idea will not be very effective against fighting the rise in the sea level. However, it will be a way to recover the land lost to the sea. In Dubai, one acre of beachfront property costs over $100,000. In places like Florida made lands like Dubai, there will be a lot more valuable beachfront property. Another option we could use could be the idea Japan had when it made the new island airport. Japan is one of the world's most dense countries on the planet. So when they wanted to build a brand new state of the art airport, they had nowhere to put it. They came up with the same idea that Dubai had make an artificial island. Although this island would not be made for property, it was made to support the world's first island airport. One of the first things they constructed was the all-important seawall. Seawalls protect islands from the pounding storm surge of the sea. Japan experiences storm surges up to 3 meters high. This seawall had to be super strong. Being made from 48,000 tetrahedral cement blocks, it is. We can use our seawall techniques to make one for ourselves. By creating a seawall double or triple the size of the one in Japan, the islands will be protected from the never ending rise of the sea. By using these and many other engineering wonders, we cannot fight this war with global warming and the inevitable rise in sea level.